downtown San Diego. But there are brew pubs here too. The thing about downtowns is that you know, real estate prices can be so pricey that it can be hard to start up a brew pub. Instead, it's easier to try and convert something that already is a restaurant into a brew pub. So that's why they're rare, er, but they still exist. NBC. The hunt continues, but they are here. You can smell them. If you find yourself in downtown San Diego, there are brew pubs. Carl Struss Brewery. And in the middle of the day, they're actually pretty. Wow. Look at this. Pretty damn busy. Carl Struss Brewery has many locations. This just happens to be the downtown one. Since they have many locations, each one is brewing, so they can have a lot of different kind of craft beer here. It is a Navy town. Here you can look at their beer menu. On it, they got several beers that have won awards. So you know they kind of know what they're doing. It's a Kolsch, an interesting brew. Kolsch is one of the few brews that has an affiliation in beer, meaning it will be created in the whole area of Germany. So this is a Kolsch like beer, technically. Nobody really pays attention to the rules anyway. The main thing is it's supposed to be light and crisp, basically. The uh, style of beer that was the Kolsch is based on. That's the style that brewers were brewing in the Kolsch town at the time. As for it, this is clean, light, and crisp. So it's an example of the brews. It's a good warm weather beer. Good San Diego beer. The other is their Mosaic Session IPA. Their Mosaic Session IPA, not because it's an IPA, but because it's a session. Session is a low alcohol brew, so it's between four and five percent versus the seven or eight percent, which is you know nice to have a, a lower alcohol, lower intensity IPA for people who aren't into the big booming alcohol. I've seen some stupid laws, but this Pop 65 from California, well, wow, that one kind of like is really kind of a California one. Reading about it, it sounds like it was a good idea, but really, you're supposed to declare anything that might be cancerous that could be anywhere. So basically, if you're eating out of anything that isn't tofu or not eating tofu, you have to declare it that it could cause cancer. A San Diego IPA. Um. Oh, this is as for what makes it a San Diego IPA, I do not know. The basic thing on this IPA is that they use like four or five different kinds of hops. To really kind of define it. It's got a little kind of tangerine-like taste to it. Which, if you don't like tangerines or like tangerines, this will definitely affect you in some way. But hey, you get the point. Oh. You too. Got a little bit of your seating. Oh. You know, it's kind of interesting, kind of like being in a Navy town, because beer in the Navy actually do have a history. Nice bike.
they found that there used to be a beer called spruce beer. Spruce beer was made with uh, spruce trees, obviously. But they found that when they boiled the spruce needles and the pine needles, and they put it in the beer, they would extract vitamin C and that it would actually help stave off scurvy. So Navy ships and most merchant ships used to kind of, uh, most Navy ships and merchant ships used to uh, carry beer, spruce beer on them in order to help combat scurvy. Beer was preferential to uh, rum because rum had some pretty obvious detrimental side effects of having broad groups of sailors drinking rum all day. But uh, when it came to drinking it as well, the Navy used to uh, have a rum ration up until 1862. Beer itself was used in the military up until the 1830s. In fact, it was George Washington who actually got a beer ration for the United States Army. But all in all, this is a Navy town. Beer is a Navy drink. Rum more so, but you know, beer will do. So, you know, you're in downtown San Diego. You're in a Navy town. Drinking is Navy. It's all good. Let's see where the next trip takes me.